Hello everybody, Bigby from Clee here. Welcome back to another Roblox tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use UI gradients. Before we get started, I would just like to say that we are doing gradients on text, backgrounds, and borders. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get screen GUI. I'm going to get a frame. So here I have a frame and I'm going to show you how the background with UI gradient works. So in the frame, just go ahead and add UI gradient. Then at the color property, you can click on the, two, the dot. If you click on it once and then click on the three dots, it gives you this, which basically is just a color scale. So you can change the colors of either end and then you can add key po You can add points and then you can set the time, which is a value from 0 to 1. You can set the color down here. That's how you do that. And it applies to the background. Down here, you can adjust the transparency, which basically you can just edit like a fade of transparency. So here. If you click on the three dots, you can adjust the keyframes just like on the other ones. You can adjust the key points just like the other ones. And you can adjust the rotation. So let's say you want it 90 degrees. There you go. And if it's not working, make sure you have the background or the background color as white. If you have it as black, it will uh, overwrite it and make it black. And if you have it as like green, it'll make it green instead. So yeah, just make sure it's white. All right, so that is the background. Now let's say you want to have a different one for the border. And go ahead and add a UI stroke. And then down here, you can just set the thickness. I'm gonna do that. There's different settings for the UI stroke as well. I'm gonna go with miter so it's just a square and then on the UI stroke you're going to want to add a UI gradient but then again you also have to have the UI stroke be white and there you go I'm going to go ahead and set the rotation to 45 degrees all right and lastly for text I'm just going to add text label and going to size it all right so now that I have that you need to set the background transparency to 1 and if you want it to have a colored background then you need to have this under frame and then color the frame background instead now what you do is inside the text label go ahead and add another UI gradient and make the text color be white now the UI gradient you can go ahead and set the gradient and you can also do the same thing with transparency again and there you go and even further if you add a UI stroke onto the text label you can add a border around it and as you can see the you, the border still syncs with the transparency and you can add another UI gradient onto the stroke and that will overwrite the transparency and then you can go ahead and set the colors you also got to make sure that this is white and you can go ahead and set the gradient and if you want it to sync the transparency with the text you have to match it over here on the transparency gradient all right now let's say you want to make this text like an outline what you're going to do is set the text transparency to one so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of the ui gradient set the text transparency to one on the ui stroke if i add a gradient and then i set the gradient transparency all the way to zero completely then as you can see it is just like an outline text all right everyone i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you guys in the next video